CBS 5 news channel for Cheyenne, Wyoming. The big news outside is Ron Paul. Patriots on the streets exercising their freedom of speech and assembly. Orders of presidential candidate Ron Paul. Walk away from our studios on East Lake and Way here. Cool. Third term Republican congressman from Texas who claims to be, quote, a true conservative. Play, I know he's uh, against the war. Um, he's really for our civil liberties. Um, he's uh, really sound for a sound uh, dollar policy and a monetary policy. supporters care about are the Constitution. Right now our Constitution is under assault by things like the Patriot Act and we'd like to restore the Constitution. Well, the race to the White House hits Wyoming, of course, and for some Cheyenne residents, they're calling it a revolution. It's called the Ron Paul Revolution, and for one Cheyenne man, he says it's a following that needs to be heard loud and clear. On a sunny afternoon at Depot Square, they came in bunches. But this bunch is no ordinary bunch. They're part of a revolution. Ron Paul is the only candidate of choice because he's the only candidate running who not only knows how to read the Constitution, but actually knows how to adhere to the Constitution. In the sea of revolutionaries is John Fafutaki. He's perhaps Ron Paul's biggest supporter. He's an honest man. He's an honorable man. Fafutaki got to Depot Square long before anybody else did just to catch a glimpse of Ron Paul walking the center stage just after 1.30. What a perfect day. What a perfect crowd. Good to have you. In his speech, Paul talked issues that riled up the crowd for over 30 minutes. In many ways, it's not a brand new revolution. There's been an ongoing revolution for a long time. In the background, Fafutaki listened and waited for his chance to shake hands with the man leading the revolution. The government then gets us involved, the people involved, in war that we shouldn't be involved in and doing things that we should never be doing. With the flags draped high in the Wyoming wind and supporters snapping pictures, Paul finishes his speech. For coming up and for doing all you Thanks a lot. Meaning Fafutaki's chance was near. After a quick promo, I'm Ron Paul, candidate for president, and I approve this message. People lined up to meet the congressman as Fafutaki patiently waits in line. <laughs> Then before you know it, it was his time. And just like that, it was over. Fafutake got what he waited for, but what seems like just a quick handshake meant so much more to John Fafutake. And he is the only man running who is honest enough to get my vote. I tell you what, a lot of people out there supporting Ron Paul.
It's not complex. We don't get into the nitty gritties of what uh, what we should do here and there and how you regulate this and who you tax and who you don't tax and all this mischief. Really, what America is all about is freedom and our individual liberty and getting the government off our backs. And off our backs. that we all share is that we have a mess uh, that has been created by too much government. And how did we allow that to happen? Well, we got too complacent as a people. And what, we, what has happened is we've had too many people in the Congress, too many people in the executive branch, too many people in the judicial system that flat out ignore the Constitution. What we need are people who will stand firm on the Constitution. <laughs> And then we allow people to come and lead their own lives as they choose. We don't have to tell people what religion they have to believe in, what their social uh, obligations are. Everybody's life is their own. And that's what freedom is all about. The same way, it means that we get to spend our money the way we want to. when this comes about and when we did have a lot more freedom is that we're responsible for ourselves and responsible for our freedom. <laughs> and if everybody were to be responsible for themselves, you know, it would be would be just fine. And there would be not this dependency on the government. We wouldn't have the nanny state. We wouldn't have the American Empire. And we wouldn't have this legislative system of government where we can't do anything with our with our property unless we get permission from our government. There's no, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, we as a people and as a country are, are facing a crisis. And I think we will probably wouldn't be here tonight if we didn't understand that and realize how serious this is. And fortunately for us, who believe in limited government and the Constitution, we don't have to start a brand new revolution. All we have to do is restore the principles of the original revolution.
Constitution, and that's what we ought to be doing. The system that we have today is ripping off the middle class and the poor. Can you imagine how great a nation we'd have if we didn't have the Federal Reserve System printing all this money? Traditional 
uh, constitutional principles that, we're, that we grew up with and that we need in our lives. Vote Ron Paul. Thank you kindly and leave the lights on for us. My name is James Moore, 20th Special Forces Group, a disabled veteran in Iraq and Afghanistan. Kane talks about honor. Where's the honor when you're dying for oil, for Halliburton? continues with the Northern Colorado Liberty Group. If you haven't done so yet, join at coloradoforliberty.ning.com.